Ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are in Australia, Canada, the United States, Europe, and of course Lebanon, a big welcome to all of you. We had her in an episode. We're having her back in another episode. Always a pleasure to have this great opera singer. She's also a psychologist, an arts and stage director. She teaches arts and also she sings in 28 languages, internationally and locally, and in all embassies of Lebanon. She sings in concerts inside and outside the country. She sang in support of several associations and charitable and humanitarian issues, including mental health, promoting the spirit of citizenship among individuals and their confidence in the country the state and the army, in addition to helping the needy of all groups without distinction between color, religion, also she participated in the great role of woman. She sang also for everybody, for students in schools, for people have, who have uh, health issues, mentally and physically. Let's welcome her with a big cheer, with a big hello, to Tehra Malouf. Welcome. Thank you for receiving me again, <laughs> Father Bashir. Uh, it was a pleasure the first time, and uh, today it's going to be a pleasure, hopefully. And uh, uh, if you like, we can start uh, talking about uh, my work with the embassies. Yes. And uh, we can see a small video. Yes. Like. Let's stop with the video right now to see uh, Tehra singing. <laughs> Wow. Welcome back. Tera, the words don't come out when we see a video like that, videos, when we see singing in many languages. I asked you this in the uh, previous episode, and I ask you again. How can you manage to sing in all these languages? <laughs> really, it's something tough for me. I can't do it. You know, for uh, embassies, for example, usually the ambassador uh, makes sure well, I ask him to make sure because I don't like to sing wrong. I ask him to make sure I'm pronouncing correctly uh, like that. But uh, sometimes um, uh, they, they feel, are you sure you're going to know how to sing? Uh, uh -huh. So, for example, for the Korean embassy, I said, okay, wait. I went and did my research. And uh, 
because they asked me to sing for them, but mm -hmm. uh, it was not, uh, they, they said sing uh, any language that mm -hmm. you know. I said, no, no, I want a new language. For me, it's 28th language, it's uh, nice. So uh, I went and did my research and I saw I, they do this accent, this accent. I, I uh, watched so many videos. I knew this one has an accent. This one is uh, just because when you sing, yeah. it's different than when you pronounce uh, talking normally. So uh, I recorded for them and I said, uh, I sent them. And they said, uh, is that you? I said, yes, please correct for me. <laughs> correct what? <Is> this correct? <laughs> <laughs> so she so did it perfectly. So uh, they were so impressed, and uh, it was uh, really wonderful uh, that uh, it happened. So like this, uh, also for the Indian Embassy, for uh, all the amb uh, embassies, uh, uh, the Bengali Embassy, Bangladesh, oh, also. Mm -hmm. there was uh, maybe 1,600 people watching. They were wow. screaming. I'm sing I, I couldn't hear myself uh, singing. Ah, and they're so happy because uh, a day before, they saw on Facebook mm -hmm. uh, my rehearsal with the, um, the team that came from Bangladesh, yes. uh, the orchestra, and uh, they put maybe 30 seconds uh, on Facebook, and the people just waiting for these songs, because nice. I chose them. Uh, you know, when I sing for embassies, uh, I, uh, I sing in a way to do communication with them. Mm -hmm. So this communication starts by me being interested in them. And knowing their culture. Who are you? Mm -hmm. And sometimes the embassies uh, are uh, uh, from countries that are not very well, um, sometimes not respected. But for me, I, I don't like this kind of uh, uh, behavior. So yeah. for me, I give the importance of these people, their culture and everything. So uh, they were so happy that I'm, I'm involved so much. I choose songs that uh, are for them very dear to their mm -hmm. hearts. I choose True. songs that are patriotic for them. And uh, this is why there is this uh, communication that, that makes me happy. I'm, I'm yeah, they feel able. that you're one of them. Yes. In other and, words. And I wear their uh, costume. I put sari. I put abaye. I put... Uh, all the customs and traditions Nigerian, and cultures. Nigerian uh, also I put. Uh, Beautiful. So uh, this is why um, it's very exciting for me. Every time, every new embassy that uh, d didn't um, cooperate mm -hmm. with me before, they are so excited. Well, okay, you're going to do this. I'm going to do this. Uh, let's do these songs. Uh, so this is uh, nice uh, for me. It, it's, uh, uh, for me, it's kind because this uh, program mm -hmm. about how Jesus and everything, yeah, we how witness him, yeah, we witness Jesus in our lives. Uh, for me, this is a kind of uh, kind. witnessing Jesus because uh, some countries, um, you know, they are in conflict, as mm -hmm. I said before, and the other episode. So uh, people need to remember these are humans. And they're respected. And, uh, and we have to respect each other mm -hmm. no and know each other mm -hmm. because these people, they didn't do the war. Yeah, that's true. We, the normal people that live in each country, they didn't do the war. This is not their uh, fault. Yes. So as much as we can communicate with them, for us, it's no longer this enemy that is horrible that we don't know. And this is how we can create peace in our hearts. Associate in, uh, with them. Yes. Uh, this is very important. With this no discrimination to color, no discrimination, religion, of course. sex, or anything. You know, that people are different, but they're all humans. Yes. And they all have beliefs, traditions, cultures, um, and customs. And, of course, uh, we're different. They might look at us the same. So we have to respect everybody because, you know, we need to respect it too. Of course. So that's the way to treat each other. If you like, we can see a bit uh, the pictures. That, uh, yeah, we can see some pictures. Uh, and we can uh, talk about that uh, in a to explain more. This is way, in yes. the Filipino embassy. Uh, my sister-in-law is Filipina, and this is why it's uh -huh. very dear to me. Yeah. And she, this is the ambassador, and they were so happy. It was the Filipino Lebanese day. Uh -huh. this, we're going to go a little uh, bit faster in the pictures, but you can a, explain to us quickly. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, I sang for them so many beautiful songs. They were so impressed mm -hmm. and happy. Uh, this is the Indian National Day. Oh, wow. I sang uh, in uh, many languages, from oh, okay. uh, Rajasthani, and We know India speaks a lot of languages, uh, yeah. Uh, and, uh, and uh, 
Look, the ambassador is so happy. He was even uh, taking a video. Definitely. Uh, you feel that the ambassador usually is somebody that uh, you, you cannot reach. Uh, uh -huh. But uh, in every embassy, I feel they are my friends. And uh, it was so beautiful. Uh, uh, I also Christ. sang in Punjabi for uh, them. Oh, wow. And this is another event I sang mm. in Rajasthani in this one in Hindi. Uh, here is the Korean embassy. Oh, you know, it was my birthday that night. Us. Oh, wow. And uh, <laughs> the nice. consul and the ambassador starting singing with, for me uh, uh, guitar when everybody left. It was a beautiful uh, end uh, of uh, this uh, evening. Mm -hmm. It was so nice. Army day for them, international. And uh, this is the head of the UNIFIL. Mm -hmm. And they were tasting uh, this uh, rice that is a little bit alcoholic and they're laughing about it. This is oh. nice times, not uh, only official and uh, oh, yes. not only all yet. countries come together. And uh, this is why it's, um, it's another side of all these official. Uh, it's a combination uh, of everything. Yes, for me, it's never uh, just official, serious. Yes. Uh, it's always we human meet. touch. We, we meet. We meet, yes. Our souls have to have to communicate because mm -hmm. this is why this is how we know really uh, each other and uh, each other's uh, countries and uh, uh, mm -hmm. the way we are uh, living let me tell people this uh, a lot of artists maybe opera singers too seek fame money etc but you from everything you do including singing the embassies i know you for a fact that you don't seek any of this you have great message to make people feel that they're home. They're at home. People, ambassadors, people who come from other countries, yes, they, they feel in Lebanon. In Lebanon, they, they feel, are, this, is, this is why I choose the songs in yes. this way. So uh, it's patriotic for them. It's uh, uh, sometimes uh, uh, it means um, uh, something really social and yes. uh, humanitarian for them. Uh, for example, for uh, Bangladesh, I chose uh, a song uh, it's about traveling and uh -huh. being far from their country. Okay. For them, it was, it, it, it's like really I touched their souls yes, in, in a way. Uh, they couldn't, uh, they couldn't express. They were yeah. screaming of joy because somebody finally understood. Now, even when I uh, when I meet somebody from another country, I ask him, "Which country are you?" Okay, and then. I sing a little bit for them in their language. They're so happy. It makes their day. Even uh, just hearing one sentence in their language, they feel, wow, why, why you know about us? Yes. You are so... Uh... You, ha you have something for everybody. Yes. So yes. something to share, to remember, and to sing for them. So 28 languages. I hope yeah. more, more. I want to sing all languages. Hopefully, uh, by the time I'm not here anymore, I want to... Try to communicate with everybody. It's so exciting and so beautiful. When I see, uh, even in this uh, resurrection uh, concert uh, I did uh, on, on Easter, I uh -huh. did the concert. Uh, I sang in six, seven languages. Uh, there were uh, people. They said, "Oh, this is my language. How how mm -hmm. you pronounce like this?" And uh, uh, it's very uh, touching. touching for me and for them. Not they Definitely. don't know how much I'm happy that. Uh, all this uh, effort of pronouncing correctly all these languages and then knowing about them. I know about their geography, their history, oh, what happened, what offends them, what makes them happy. Uh, because I want to just have sweet times with these people and uh, uh, make them feel that they are welcome here in Lebanon, even mm. though they are an embassy and everything. Yeah, but official. And you know, they are humans at the end and uh, they true. need this. All of us have vocations. I have a vocation as a monk. I think, correct me if I'm wrong, you have a vocation to be a messenger, somebody who brings joy to all these people who are away from their country. Maybe God has chosen you for that reason, for this job, for this uh, mission, because you can sing in English or in Italian or in French, but you don't make their day as you sing in their languages, in yes. their own language and their accent, you told me about that. Yes. You catch the accent, you do research. People don't know that. They see the outcome, they see uh, the singing, but they don't know behind that how much time you put in. Details you try your best. And, uh, and wearing their costumes, it makes them feel excited that, look, she's, she's, she's one like of us. One of us, yeah. <laughs> she's not stranger. Even, I'm, not, uh, I'm not Indian, 
But when I put my sari on, they feel, well, she's like the Bollywood actresses, and they feel, wow, oh, we are trying, really. One of the songs even mm -hmm. uh, was about many characters, mm -hmm. because, you know, I, um, I teach all kinds of arts, and yes, uh, I'm an actress and director and everything. You put that too. I like to put all this also, and uh, each part, the many characters are singing. Each part you hear me in a different way singing. Uh, when it's somebody from the, you know, it, it was like uh, very classy people talking, and then people from the street that have this uh, oh, yeah. kind of uh, accent, uh, another slang, language, language, slang, and <laughs> you can see each one. Uh, it's uh, it's funny and uh, sweet it's for really them, nice. and I I like to uh, just. Um, to Make share them, that with them. Yes, to share this. Um. So you witness Christ in that way, so beautiful. Uh, you prepare yourself both uh, in a religi religious way, you prepare yourself uh, with your professions, also singing opera, your art, um, your psychology. All this help you to witness Christ, to bring people into joy, happiness, yes. to make their days. Tell us, how did the COVID affect you? You know. Um, it, was, it was a hard time. COVID, uh, during COVID, I felt that uh, people needed more and more hope. Oh, definitely. So this is when more things started online. Mm -hmm. And uh, for example, we started uh, with a um, concert for Filipinos uh, uh, together, um, food for them. Uh -huh. And uh, we did also with Bangladesh online uh, many concerts. And uh, this was just to bring more hope. Also, I did a festival. Mm -hmm. I organized it myself uh, with the coordination from Jordan. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was uh, 16 countries, 26 candidates. And it was the first opera festival online. Uh, we put uh, at a certain time, it starts on Facebook. And people like, it's like watching uh, uh, a play. You have to wait till the time starts and then you go live, Beautiful. and it was so nice, so, uh, so uh, uh, it gave Emotional. so much hope. It was called hope anyway, uh -huh. and, um, uh, and uh, it was called pulse, uh -huh. but pulse to, you know, your heart beats, yes. and you have hope again. And joy. Yes, and uh, also this uh, COVID time, uh, we, I was trying also to help people um, get jobs and you know, uh, sometimes if you just know these people, know these people, and you can put people together because many people lost their jobs. True. Mm. So uh, many things during COVID uh, happened, and sometimes um, uh, you feel um, uh, it's not your place to be just on stage to sing. It's mm -hmm. your place to find a way to help people with your art and give them more hope. Yes, you, you try to help people more during the COVID because, you know, the COVID uh, made things uh, difficult for everybody, people who don't have Even jobs. Even on Christmas when, and, uh, when I did the, in Beirut uh, mm -hmm. and uh, in Zahle, people needed, needed just a little bit of oxygen. Yes, and definitely. And this is what they got. And they felt you came specially for us to give us because this they're locked up in their houses they yes. can't do anything they don't they don't work even maybe sometimes some of them even we had to do a concert outside it was freezing but they were so happy yeah. you, you don't feel it was freezing it was the maybe the coldest day in the year and in beirut yeah but they were so happy it was raining on everybody they were uh, you know uh, shelters like uh, things over their head but the wind making the yeah, it was blowing on them, <laughs> blowing uh, all the water on them. Anything. But they were so happy; just they needed a little bit of forgetting all our uh, horrible times and remembering that this is uh, something to make us uh, hope for a better tomorrow. And uh, yes, definitely. Thank God for having this uh, more or less, uh, you know. Uh, end of the COVID. Uh, we're back to our normal lives. We're back to maybe you do more now concerts, back to oh, singing, uh, back to the embassies, back with people. Uh, we need you. We need you on this uh, everywhere, on the streets and the uh, special occasions for everybody in the church um, and the embassies because, you know, we need somebody like you who can sing, give force to people, give uh, this uh, push uh, for them to continue their lives with hope, as you said with faith, with love, you give everything. So 
this is the true message we have to send to people and witness Christ in our, uh, yes. in our lives every day for everybody to really uh, get together and feel the love that Jesus uh, gave us. Um, unfortunately, we're running out of time. Would you like to say a final word about, uh, you know, your singing? I want to say uh, uh, thank you for uh, you, Father Bashir, for receiving me here in two episodes. And uh, a big hello to all my friends. It's very hard now to travel still. Mm -hmm. But hopefully when every, everything is a little bit looser, uh, for traveling, I will be able to see everybody in the country and a big hello to all my siblings all over the world. Thank you so much, Tara, for coming in. Thank you for this great episode, as usual. Hope to see you in the future. And we pray for you to continue this, uh, this message, this mission, this life full of energy, life full of happiness and joy with all the professions you have art, psychology, uh, opera singing, uh, those talents, uh, talented uh, habits you have, and also this hard work on languages, uh, 28 languages you sing with, and you try your best to be uh, familiar with, the, with their cultures, with their traditions, customs, everything. Really, people are touched by your presence, by your singing, and by your social life with them. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you everyone in Australia, Canada, United States, Europe, and of course Lebanon for this great episode with the great singer, opera singer, Tara Malouf, who really uh, enriched us with everything she shared with us today, and especially about witnessing Jesus in our daily lives. We're going to end up this episode with a video saying a great prayer, uh, and who sings, prays twice. Let's hear her, and until then, we'll see you next time. Have a great day, and bye-bye.